Um, I'm not too sure what else there, there is to say. Other than, yeah, this obviously is all, you know, it is all stuff that sucks. Um, I am leaning more in the direction of this was just overall a unprofessional situation that was essentially normalized to everyone involved, uh, during which bad things happened, because within that group of, if we believe Joshua, up to 100 people, there's a few bad eggs. Um, yeah. And those few bad eggs, you know, maybe it's more than you would expect, because perhaps there is a culture, or well, not seemingly is a cultural problem at Blizzard, um, and that really that's like our, our sort of big issue here. Um, here's the thing, though, if there really are that many people in and around this suite, mm. I imagine there's a lot more people who could speak up, and we'll probably find out more information. And that's a lot of why I don't want to jump to like any super firm conclusions on it, because I just think we'll learn more, and that's probably the safer way to, to do it. Yeah, I think it's the... Especially for stuff like this, I think the best move is wait for the... I mean, obviously, do whatever now culturally is relevant, but when it comes to individuals, you have to let the spirit of... You have to let the spirit of law. You have to let the process of the law go through. Yeah. You can make grand sweeping changes and start investigations and start, you know, attacking behaviors and ideas. But as soon as you start attacking people, when it comes to the court of public opinion, you start to run into problems where your message will be diluted because you're picking people and attacking people instead of, you know, yeah, the it's, issue. It, it's Ma tricky no matter when, when you're trying. When complete information is not there because there's a lot of yeah. people who I think are basically like, wow, Greg you are a part of a predatory cabal. Yeah. And I think at this stage, we don't know enough to be able to say that. So, you know, everyone is entitled to their opinion, and I certainly have my own leanings of opinion, but I'm only going to... Knowing that we're in a position where a lot of people see us um, and where it's important to get things right and be responsible because we say something and that you know, it can actually have an effect. That's why I'm kind of reserving judgment because I'm fairly sure more info will come, especially yeah. because this is a, a thing that's impacting an entire company over many years. It has touched a whole bunch of people's lives. We'll probably learn more. I mean, <laughs> I mean how, how different is the story today than, what, eight days ago when it started to break? I'm sure it'll continue. Yeah, it's, it has just got larger and larger, hasn't it? this this story yeah. it's it's quite yeah. wild um, i'm like there you see now nah, name names these people thrive in anonymity um i i'd say there's there are like two to three names that are floating around my head that are not people in that photo and i don't even know if they were there that's just the sort of thing i've heard from like you know one secondary source hmm. uh who you know has actually said something and one or two people said hey you know mm, there could be a rumbly thing going on there um but the thing is you know, if I go off half-cocked on something like that, where, you know, I haven't even talked to the victim, I don't even know if the victim wants their story to be shared, and in most of those cases, I don't even know the, the victim's story, just the people have said, heard bad things, watch out, you know, then, I mean, that's that's just firing a blunderbuss, right? Like, where, you know, when you say things that, you know, where your words have got that much weight, where they literally can change lives and careers and stuff, you do just have to be responsible with it. A lot of people are giving Jason Trier shit yeah. for, uh, you know, not jumping in what he had. And he basically, like, like, his response was, I didn't have enough to go to print with it. And that's just the sort of thing. Journalistic integrity is, is important. And what happens when people basically just go off rumors? Like, if I was Gawker, I could have got a whole bunch of, you know, oh, I heard from this person and this person about that. <laughs> But there's a reason why people fucking hate Gawker or hated yeah. Gawker when they existed, right? It was because they were a gossip rag who didn't care about accuracy, that didn't really take into much consideration the impact of their words. It was just a click farm, right? Uh, I think just about everyone agrees that the likes of Gawker are bad for the internet and bad for, you know, culture. So you don't want to go that much. Like somebody there said, Jason goes off rumors. It's the sort of thing, you know, you go off, you hear rumors you then do your research, you talk to ideally two or three primary sources to really find out. So, you know, you use rumors as like getting the scent of something, you know, seeing some smoke so you can then go and investigate the gun. Not that makes much sense as an analogy. Um, you know, that's kind of 
uh, what you do with rumors, but you don't just turn a rumor into a big article and present it as truth because that is, um, that's, that's just not the way to do it. Yeah. That's kind of the thing where I think one of the better ways to explain it is when it comes to journalism, when it comes to taking down like horrible situations and horrible things that have been set up, especially ones that are really, really, really deep rooted, you desperately need, like you, you've got one shot. There's only one time Jason could, you know, post an article so insane. Here's everything I have on Activision Blizzard and their culture internally. He's got one shot at that, ostensibly. Mm. So he better make sure he hits. Otherwise, it's all for nothing. Yeah. And I think this is probably the time where this is when stuff's coming out because this could be a snowball big enough to actually change things, to actually affect the internal company as opposed to, you know, it was the same with the whole Me Too movement in general where it was, you know, (laughs) <laughs> you know, one spark isn't a fire. But if you've got enough tinder and then the whole thing goes, then it can actually go. So I think that's kind of a way to think about it in a way. Yeah, yeah, um, mm. indeed. So the other thing that happened, of course, there was the community, um, you know, sort of mass logout yeah. thing. I don't know there's too much to cover there. Basically, just people, you know, they, they matched what the Blizzard employees were doing in-game, sort of, uh, you know, synchronized with uh, the Blizzard walkout. 